for this next group, I am going to remind you again, up strokes are thin, down strokes are thick, and this is the eye, a dynamic stem, and then from the ascender line, we come out in a little oval form that we're not closing. Feel free to play with the ending of the stem there, come out and cross the stem and maybe loop around twice but make sure that when the line goes left to right and when the line goes bottom up, it is thin and when the line goes down, it is thick. The J, again, a very long stroke, a dynamic stem that comes down below the bass line in a, an underturn loop, coming up lightly and crossing at the bass line and then you can add the same kind of loop as with the I making sure that everything follows the slant line and is kind of boxed into that 55 degrees. The L is done in one stroke. So you want to have a very light swoop over and then the dynamic heavy stem, the dynamic downstroke stem, and then above the baseline loop in this form so you have kind of a swan-like, there's the loop coming over and then up in the connecting exit stroke. The L loops are quite small. We don't want them to be too large. Now for the D, we have the stem and end in an open loop like that L and then the second stroke is going to be, for example, the spiral coming over and meeting the stem at the baseline. So I'll show you one more time. We come down in the dynamic stem and the loop and leave it there. And then we start again. This time I'm doing it the other way around. Over and increase pressure as you come down to form that bowl and come over to meet the stem at the baseline. You can also do the D in one stroke, but then of course the right hand side is going to be thin because that'll be an up stroke. And personally, I like the one in the middle best because it has evenly distributed weight. So if you look at the right hand side, that D only has weight in the stem, but not on the right hand bowl. So it looks a little uneven to me, but it's a question of preference. The H has that half heart fish hook kind of entrance and then is done in one stroke. You are going to want to make sure that everything follows the 55 slant line. So I'll show you one more time. We'll start at the ascender, maybe with a wave, come down, loop over in that underturn loop and do an overturn loop like the L or the B that you already know from the lowercase letters and you can combine them this way and I think this is a nice width for the H as well. It's difficult to get that right so that's going to take some practice. The K, I like those pretzels, I'm not gonna lie. The K has the stem and then brackets for the top arm and the lower arm where you're really going to transition between light pressure, more pressure, light pressure, more pressure. Make sure that you look for that triangle in the center to give it breathing room. And that the, both legs follow the slant. So you start at the ascender and come in and out and up. You come in just above the waistline to give those some breathing room. <laughs> 